Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, so that means it's a way in update. Um, sorry about all the layers, but I am absolutely freezing. Um, the temperature's dropped and um, yeah, I'm really feeling it. So we're not here to talk about the weather, um, but we're here to talk about my week following the Slimming World plan and um, how I got on. So this week has been willpower. That has been the, the, the word of the week this week, especially Friday, Saturday and Sunday when I was at the dance competitions. So either side of that, apart from one meal out, which was planned anyway, I have been 100% following Summer World. And I'm really proud of that because at the weekend, even though I prepared and I got a nice ham salad with lots of salad bits, lighter than light mayonnaise, I did take that instead of my sweet chilli sauce. I had that, I had some pop crisps to go with it, which were low in sins. I took some strawberry yogurt bites, which I, I was snacking on throughout the day, which are six sins. I had black coffees and I was right, they didn't have sweetener there, so I had my sweetener in my bag. And I then, within the weekend, I snacked on the five um, oranges. Um, so when we were going there, going back, um, waiting for Grace to go on, I would have like, a, 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 an orange and yeah I did it now I could have easily gone to the foodies the ease of food going to the canteen and having a delicious meal like some of the other parents um, were doing um you know it was it was easy it was easy I didn't have to if I chose that it wouldn't have been it would have been easy to go up and get whatever that I wanted they had curries they had um a chili con carne, they had, what else did they have? Oh, chips, burgers, cheeseburgers, um, hot dogs they were having, um, and then they had this massive chocolate cake, and I don't even like chocolate cake, but it was like Bruce's chocolate cake off Matilda, it was huge, and a slab of it was like dirt cheap, and it was so tempting, but I was like, when you've like, look at your ham salad, and your little pop chips, and your black coffee, and you see that, you're thinking, really? And you can see other parents around you eating, you know, lovely, delicious food. You're like, I'm sat here eating that. But I just knew that that's what I fancied. I fancied my ham salad. It's not like I'm depriving myself or anything. I fancied it. I enjoyed it. I had my crisps, um, my black coffee. And then it was just like, yep, yeah, that's my lunch. Right, we'll move on to what I need to move on now. I didn't make it a thing as such, if that makes any sense. It's just... I, I eat because I've got to eat to keep alive and I'm trying to eat the right food which is enjoyable and trying to find that balance of being able to eat healthy. What I mean by that is sometimes you can eat healthy but you're not enjoying the food you're eating so therefore when you have the day where you feel like you can go off plan, you go off plan and then you find it hard to get back onto on, on track. And for me, one of the key things is nipping in treat days because I don't think, I don't feel I need it. I don't deprive myself throughout the week and I don't do treat days and I plan ahead and planning has been the key to success this time around, that is for sure. So yeah, I was busy at, um, at dance comms, then we had a meal out, but I knew already what I was having. I chose the best option. Don't be wrong, when that menu came, I could have had the um, crispy chicken in noodles. It had my name wrote all over it. And I've had it before, or belly pork, but I didn't. I had the chicken hanging kebab, which is basically chunks of chicken in a, a spice rub. So there's no sauce or anything. And it's got um, char grilled veg as well, all the way through. And then it comes with a white wrap. I had sweet potato fries and a sweet chilli dip. And it was lovely. But throughout the day, I had had a fulfilling breakfast. I didn't have my lunch because all I kept thinking about is I can't wait to have this kebab. And I enjoyed it for what it was. I came home satisfied and I went to bed with a black coffee and I was very happy indeed. So yes, I don't know the sins of it. I enjoyed the meal for what it was. It is what it is at the end of the day. It was a meal out and the company was lovely. Yeah, it is what it is. We can't stop doing this. It's just being prepared. And I knew that was that was coming up and I'd looked at the menu. I'd, I'd been there before, so I knew what I was having. 
and I really, really enjoyed it. My word this week has been willpower for sure because there's been many times where I could have easily gone for foodies, just the ease of food, um, the grab and go kind of thing, but I haven't. I've really, really stuck to plan. I have been focused, I've been determined because I know how much more I want to lose weight than I do having a bit of chocolate cake because that chocolate cake will only last half an hour of like pure pleasure but losing weight on a Wednesday will keep me going for another week ahead. I've got to keep the, my goals at the forefront because if I don't then I just know that I'll be back at square one and we're doing this again and I don't want to do it again. I want to be consistent and also as well I'm not, not giving up on lots of food. I don't feel restricted. So like I keep saying, um, I do have these honey and mustard sausages from the market. I don't know what since they are, but I'll have two of them. I'll have a little bit of mash to go with it. But the rest of my plate is full of speed food, the broccoli, the green beans, the carrots, cauliflower. I do have some peas with it. And then I have some gravy. It's absolutely delicious. And I'd rather have that the snacks or anything. I'd rather just enjoy that with the family with um, a glass of like um, sugar-free Coke, whatever I have, Pepsi Max or whatever it is I have um, on, a, on a weekend, then not have that, have something which is, I don't know, you know, something different. And then I feel like I'm missing out on that. And then I think, well, I've been sin free or low sin, so I'm gonna grab this, this and this. And then by the time I know it, I'm probably over sins because once I get the taste of it, um, I want to eat a lot more of it. And I think planning has been the key. I haven't been as determined this time round to being plan planning than I have ever been on my weight loss journey. On a Thursday, I have a notebook and I write down what's happening in that week. I look at my diary and then I know which days are like um, days where I really need to plan. So for instance, um, when the Hubster's birthday is coming up this week, I know that by having a Chinese, because it's one of his favourite meals, um, but Vicky, who is Miss 18 Dapper on YouTube, um, she's actually doing Slimming World as well. She's doing shredding for the wedding. And um, I'll link her channel either up above or in the, in the, what's it called, the information box, uh, because she's doing Slimming World and she's just done a monthly weighing update. So if you do go over and check her channel out. She's trying to get up to 500 subscribers. So if you can click that button, it would mean a lot. I know how much it would mean to her. And then say hello from me, say that you've come over from my channel because she's really trying to get to 500. And like I said, I, I was really impressed with her weighing update. She's really trying to um, shred for the wedding. She wants to feel the best she can be on a wedding. And that video was really lovely. And um, it's lovely to see some Slimming World content. Because from, I, I love it. She does do food hauls as well. Um, anyway, if, you, if you'd like to, please go and follow her channel because um, you won't be disappointed. And I know that some of you do follow her, but if you don't, um, that is just another channel which you may enjoy. Because Vicky will be there, hopefully we might have boiled rice together and then we might find a dish which we can share between us so we're not we're being on plan and um, we're still enjoying the food but I will avoid like the prawn crackers and the salt and pepper chips and all that but I'll have boiled rice probably black bean and something sauce if Vicky likes it or there might be something which Vicky likes and I might like and then we can just have a little a little bit of food and um, but don't feel um that um that stodge afterwards and we don't feel like oh, we've messed our week up kind of thing. Um, but that's the only meal which is going to be like sins unknown kind of thing. Um, Tuesday is pancake day, which I absolutely love. So I know on Tuesday I'll be having a pancake, but that will be all worked in within my sins. So um, I won't be missing out on pancake day and I'll be having it with a little bit of honey and lots of um, speedy fruit, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Oh, I cannot wait to have a pancake on pancake day because I love pancake day. So yeah, I've had a really good week. My week coming up is all planned for and I'm in a really good mindset. So we're here to talk about 
what did I do on my weight loss journey this week? So like I said, I had to have a lot of willpower, I had to have motivation, and I'm really glad that I stuck to my little ham salad at the weekend and stuck to the good choices I made because I got a one and a half pound loss this week and that means more to me than a slice of chocolate cake or something which I could have got or something which I could have got in the cafe. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. So I'm 13 stone, two and a half, and I've lost one and a half pounds, and altogether I've lost 10 and a half pounds on this journey. And I am just buzzing. At the end of February, I'd like to be back in the 12 zone. So now I could have, and I would have, and I would have done this. I'd have gone, right, I want three pounds off next week, so I can see a new number, so I can be back in the 12s. Now, my, the 12s, for me, wait there, the old Rachel would have gone, I want instant gratification, I want three pounds off next week to see the 12, because for me, the 12s is like my happy place. I love being back in the 12s. Now, that is my first major target, which I set in January, which I wanted to see the 12s on the scales. And this time round, I've just done it slowly. Don't get me wrong, I had an amazing start. I lost six and a half pounds in my first way in. But you've got to think, I had a month of a bit off eating, like whatever I wanted. So the majority of that was probably water, um, but it gave me a really good head start, don't get me wrong. But then afterwards, I've lost one and a half, then I lost one, then I maintained, and then I've lost one and a half. And I just like that, just chipping away, having a constant loss or maintain, that's all I want. I just don't want to see a gain in my book. I just want to be consistent. And because I know then in the long haul, it'll keep me wanting to eat this way forever. I think previously I've wanted instant gratification. I've said no to a lot of food. And then when I got to Target, I was like, I've done it. I can eat what I want. And then I'm like, no, I'm out of Target. So we'll go back on it for a week. And then I'm like, right, I can eat what I want. And it was basically like that. And it wasn't teaching me anything. Whereas having bits and bobs throughout the week, which I don't really count sins as such, but I know that it's a lovely meal. It really does help me. I'm just in a really good place. I'm really, really hoping that this mindset and the way I'm doing it now is the right way. I've, I've finally found that balance of um, eating food, which I'm enjoying, but also as well losing weight. And I think once you've got that balance right, it does become a lot easier as well. So hopefully, I'm on the right track and I'm really, really happy. I'm way in front of my target, which I wanted to be this time. Um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully by the end of February, I'll be back in the 12th. If I'm in there earlier, amazing. But my, my goal this month in February um, will be back in the 12th and um, three pounds. So hopefully I can lose that in, in the month of February. February. So a lovely start to February, one and a half pounds off. Um, please let me know how you got on this week, whatever plan you follow. And as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.